Just about a year ago, one of Chicagoland's treasured public layouts closed its doors for a top to bottom renovation. Let's head over to Addison, Illinois with our Dave Lockhart to get a peek at the progress at Oak Meadows Golf Club. This is no ordinary facelift. First and foremost was solving the problem of the ever overflowing Salt Creek that winds throughout the course. Now with help from the Army Corps of Engineers, the creek has now been diverted. This magical move will not only save the course from flooding, but the surrounding neighborhood as well. Most good golf courses, the end result is something that's fun, it's challenging, it's, it's aesthetically beautiful, uh, but the great projects have something a little bit more and help solve some problems for the community. And uh, a lot of our goals tied into that concept. We're going to hold more stormwater on this site. In fact, 20 million more gallons of stormwater here instead of residents' basements and businesses. Many non-native trees were removed from the property, opening things up, which in turn lets the course breathe better and make the grass grow more consistent. The construction team had an enormous piece of property to work with here in DuPage County. Oak Meadows sat on a 140-acre site, but then they acquired the East Nine Hole course from Maple Meadows. Thus, this new design will be taking up residence on a sprawling 288-acre parcel of land. The thing is, is that you, you get out and you see some things in the field that you didn't see or anticipate, and you need to be able to, to react to that. And that's, that's kind of the phase we're in now, is we're in the middle of making some of those adjustments. It just takes time, and you have to be willing and open and flexible to make the, make the best out of it. Uh, not always is the, is the first idea the best idea. On this soil, the history of golf dates back nearly 100 years. Before it became Oak Meadows, this was Elmhurst Country Club. And in 1941, the immortal Ben Hogan won the 1941 Chicago Open here. The cherished layout was certainly well liked, but it became a bit weathered over the years. The new course will have a couple of glimpses of the past design, but the revitalization is sure to be a breath of fresh air. What I'm looking forward to is the reaction from people when they come back. Uh, I think by design, there's going to be moments where they recognize parts of the old oak meadows and there's an homage to uh, parts of the property and part of the experience. But before they're uh, very far into their round, they're going to suddenly uh, open their eyes and realize that uh, so many things are different and they're really on a brand new golf course. So during the round, there's going to be moments of familiarity and also moments of brand new experience. First and foremost, they should be fun. I like variety. So every hole is going to have, take on a little bit different flavor. Uh, one thing is, is going to be very, very evident is every hole has a place where you can play it. Uh, anybody can play it if they play away from some of the pronounced hazards. This massive undertaking just shows what good the game of golf can do with numerous improvements to the land and the reworking of troublesome Salt Creek. Getting a project like this off the ground uh, really takes a broad, uh, a big team and a broad coalition of support. Uh, we've seen interest and, and participation from uh, groups like DuPage County for the, for the stormwater uh, retention and the building of new wetlands. And we've had support from groups like the DuPage River Salt Creek Work Group for the water quality improvements in the stream. There were a lot of permitting agencies that uh, were involved, not the least of which includes the Army Corps of Engineers. And, and many others, but in the big picture, it involves a lot more than golf, and we were lucky to bring together the right group of experts to make uh, an ambitious project like this become reality. The seeding of the grass should take place in early August, and the new course with the new name is expected to open sometime next summer. In case you're having some withdrawals, though, you can always just head across the street and play the always enjoyable Maple Meadows.